Hello, my loves. Welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube. It is so good to be able to have you here to shuffle cards, to sit, to connect, pull the charts, and just see what Message of Spirit has for us, especially for this week. At the time of me filming, it is Monday, and I want to know how was your weekend? How does this week feel for you? Are you guys feeling like you're ready for this week? What's the vibe? Let me know down in the comments, of course. If you guys are following me on my personal Instagram, JessicaXAlexandria, you saw I was on a boat this past weekend, which was absolutely phenomenal. It was so good for me to reset and switch my energy up in different ways, man. It's just it's so good for your energy. So I really wanted to encourage you guys to do the same thing in your own life, in your own way, whatever that is, whatever that looks like. Just kind of shake it up, shift it a little bit, get that energy and those creative juices and that blood flow throughout your body because you definitely deserve it okay that was a message that came through during this morning's meditation that the spiritual community not only are we being attacked which I'll talk about that in a minute but it can be very energetically draining if we're holding on to the heavy for too long and the divine who you guys should see these cards and I'll show you guys them in just a moment the divine didn't create us in in order to shoulder the burden for too long forever okay it's so good for us to go through the highs and the lows to experience all of that you know good and bad and there is no such thing as good or bad it's just a part of the human experience but it's not we're not wired to hold on and to harbor the heavy for so long and sometimes it's really good to connect with others to connect with other light bringing beings of you know, joyful presence and high vibe because we have to remember that we're not in this alone and that we are more than just the growth. The growth is there, the growth is present, and so is the healing, but also let there be joy, let there be love. And I want to encourage you guys this week to really open up to receive that. Some of it is things that you're going to create yourself and some of the things are things that you are going to find yourself coming into alignment with. And I really want you guys to be receptive to them, especially if it feels good for you, especially if you know that it's needed, especially if your intuition is telling you that it's okay, but your logical brain might be screaming and saying, it's not safe, we've been here before. Like, do you really wanna repeat this past pattern? Is it possible for you to consider the fact that maybe things are different now, maybe a door has been opened for you, maybe it's safe for you to trust your intuition, maybe it's safe for you to take your time with processing events and circumstances that are currently around you, but um, while you're processing that, you know, you don't have to make a, a, a rash choice or a rash judgment or jump to a conclusion or have an answer right now. What if you just allowed yourself to sit, to receive, to process, and to bring all of that information to the divine, to your higher self, so that your intuition can speak louder to you sometimes than your logical or your emotional bodies, okay? Because sometimes we get so caught in listening to them that we forget what it's like, like to listen to the higher self, okay? So I don't know why I feel so called to say that to you guys, but that's really a strong message. Now, can I share with you the tarot cards that I just pulled while I was talking to you guys <laughs> about that? Of course, it's just so perfectly aligned. We have the moon card. We have five of pentacles. We have chariot card reversed. We have two of pentacles, and we also have the two of cups reversed. What this is already telling me is there's two separate enter en energies. There's two separate entity entities. For, for a lot of you guys, I feel that this is your own internal battles. You are trying to figure out how to make work. Um, your fear and your hope is what's actually coming through for me. It's you guys, and I'm also getting the message of being stuck in between the worlds, you know? the world of the past and the world of the present, where it is that you have gone and where it is that you're going, you're right in the in-between of that. We have so much energy here with the Two of Pentacles. Um, the Chariot card has the two horses here, so that's the energy of two. And then we also, with the Two of Pentacles here, again, this is balancing those 
two opposing energies, those two opposing beliefs. We also have two of cups here reversed. We also have five of pentacles, which is that feeling of emptiness of, am I capable? Am I, is there more out there for me? I, am I safe to hope, to wish, to dream? Is there someone, something that's going to reach their hand out to me and help me the rest of the way because I don't want to do this by myself anymore. I don't want to carry this b a burden any longer. I feel like no one can understand what it is that I'm going through, but what if I told you that that could be the shadow side? That could be the dark illusion, the fantasy, your perspective that isn't from a higher vision. It's not from the divine. It is your shadow self, your shadow self that's running rampant right now and wanting to trick you into believing that there isn't more out there for you or that there, you know, this is the end of the line or you you can only do it this way. That is all a fallacy. It's not real. It's an illusion. And what I definitely see happening here is you just taking some time first and foremost in order to just be easy for a second to just ground yourself. While you're grounding yourself, you're connecting to the higher source, you're connecting to higher power, you're connecting to divine energy and this higher state of love. This doesn't make you a, dorm, a doormat. This doesn't make you a burden. This doesn't make you problematic or troublesome or that you're asking for too much. You're asking for everything. You're asking for everything that you deserve a little moments longer in order to help you to make a decision, in order for you to help yourself to feel more comfortable in this new space that you're in right now or this idea, this concept, this opportunity that is presenting itself to you. Do you need a little more time to process this so that you can feel more comfortable? There's this really strong message already about you know, not forcing an outcome, not forcing yourself to feel comfortable with things, even if it's something that is good or bad or has a good intention or an ill intention for you. You don't want to force yourself into that. Okay, it's okay to take your time. So that's a really strong message that's coming here. I do also want to say that the moon card deals a lot with the polarities as well, the shadow sides, the higher sides, you know, both of those things coming together in a way that we want to accept, we want to acknowledge, we don't want to run away from them. If we keep running away from them, they become we become enslaved to them, okay? Especially when it comes to your when you're when it comes to your emotions. Queen of Cups here. She's got to feel her feelings. She has to feel her feelings. And when she feels those feelings, she's she observes them, she sees them. They make sense to her, especially when it comes to anxiety. Especially when it comes to things I'm hearing that don't make sense to you, things that feel disordered. It's a disordered consciousness, meaning that your old way or the way that you're breaking free from can be a little disordered and chaotic. And that's okay. I mean, we all have that, especially when it comes to experiences, human, the human being experience, man. It's like that can really be, it, it not can be, it, it is tough, you know, and we all have our stories, we all have our experiences and things that can trigger memories. The one thing that's really standing out to me is the clamshell at the very top of the queen's head. Something about that is, well not something about it, it is a reminder of how we protect ourselves, how we emotionally protect our soft core. And I do want to say that there is a time and a place, of course, for, that's my elbows, you guys. There is a time and a place for us to self-protect and to have that hardened shell. And there also is a time and a place in order to let yourself kind of be exposed, to be vulnerable, to be seen, to be loved, to be heard, to be held. And spirit wants that for you. Some of you guys are saying, well, how do I know? You'll know by the the time. Listen, Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Pentacles. You'll know by the time that's not rushed into. Intimacy is not rushed. It's not forced. Neither is respect. Neither is love. Neither is connection. True, authentic, all of those things that I just mentioned. True, if it's authentic, it doesn't need to be forced. Okay? And with Six of Pentacles, it's how people respect you where you're at and give you the space in order to take steps forward, even if your legs are shaking, even if your voice is breaking. 
okay? They say, listen, you're doing a good job. My my arms are out and I'm I can encourage you, I can support you, I can help you. At the me at the same time of me saying this, you guys, you're you don't want to allow your fear to define your fate. There's a quote that I've kept on my personal Instagram, Jessica X Alexandria, and it says, Fortune favors the bold. What does it mean to be bold? It means that I could be that's the healing waters candle popping off just now. I don't know if you guys heard that, but this is in um this candle's been popping off every every time it needs to. But also this candle's in my apothecary if you guys want to uh, burn your own healing water candles. But when it comes to being bold, this means that you look at the face, you look into the face, you look into the eyes of the oppressor. What is the oppressor? It could be judgment. It could be someone who is cruel. It could be the thoughts that you think about yourself. It could be you speaking up. It could be your perception of whatever. It is, fill in the blank. It's the things that it is that you struggle with the most. Maybe it's a, a wish, something some, you really want like better friendship connections, but you've been burned by your girlfriends in the past. Or maybe it's an intimate connection with an, a bomb female, you know, just a really awesome, wonderful person, but you feel like all of the girls or all these women are um, cancerous. You know, they just, nothing that you contribute feels positive it feels like it just eats away and that you are nothing but a mere object or a pawn you know in their in their eyes and you want to share your worth and your value especially for my divine masculines that's something that's really coming through for others of you guys you know it could be you pushing past your procrastination because you have your own fear of success. What happens if it does take off? What happens if I am fruitful? What happens if this is prosperous? What happens if I reach out to this person and ask them for help? Are they going to smack my hand away and then I'm going to feel rejected? You know, there's all of these things, but fortune favors the bold. This means that the bold tap into their heart and they move from a space of their heart and they reach out regardless of what the outcome could be. This doesn't mean that you put yourself in positions that, you know, make you vulnerable for no reason. This is with reason. What is the reason? The reason is love. So when you connect with the divine love, you will be divinely inspired. You will know the steps to take. You will know the words to speak. What they choose to do with that is their prerogative. It's their outcome. It's their fate. And that defines their fortune. But fortune favors the bold and don't allow your fear to define your fate. So how are you going to take what you can control and what you can do and make with it what you wish? How are you going to do that? And sometimes that looks like taking baby steps and speaking out and reaching out and putting yourself out there. So there's a really strong message now this week, especially as the sun moves through the sign of Virgo, especially as the sun opposes Neptune, which we need to talk about, okay? But before we dive into that, I want to give a quick word message from the sponsor of today's video, Rose Forever. Rose Forever is a New York-based rose brand launched in 2019. It specializes in designing luxurious flower bouquets with hand-picked exquisite roses that last for a year. They only use natural oils to preserve the roses, and the bouquets are handcrafted by professional rose artisans. The roses come in round and square-shaped velvet boxes in three different sizes, 9, 16, or 36 roses per box, so they are perfect, whether for Parisian-style chic house decor or as special events gifts. Rose Forever was generous enough to sponsor this video, and coupon codes to reserve your own Rose Forever box can be found below in the description box. All right, my love, so thanks to Rose Forever for sending their beautiful blooms. I really appreciate them, I really love them. The links for all of that will be down below in the description box, as I mentioned. And let's go ahead and move into the charts. So, if you would like to follow along, you can do just that with the ebook, the complete comprehensive guide. You would think because I wrote it that I would remember the name of my book, but absolutely not. And I do it with my other one too. But what I'm trying to say is if you want to follow along, you can do that in the complete astro and tarot intuitive guide to 2021. I'll link that down below. And of course, as you guys know, ooh, 444 on the clock. 
as you guys know i'm gonna start writing for 2022 very very shortly it's september now and we're right on target just a little bit late but right on target what you will see if you flip through the pages of your book or through your ebook we have the sun directly opposing neptune okay so you guys know or if you don't know i'll say this I warn you guys all the time when the Sun and Neptune make any type of connection with each other, whether it's something that is easy and effortless like a sextile or a trine, or something that is challenging like an opposition or a square, I don't always vibe with this and I always warn you guys because the physical body or the ego gets challenged by Neptune energy and this is when we get food poisoning, this is when we get... Um, just really <clears throat> wonky won't, vibes that make you too vulnerable and susceptible to sickness, illness, confusion, conflict, hesitation, doubt, um, poison. It just doesn't feel good. And as I was channeling messages when I was getting ready for you guys, because I love to stare into a flame or st stare into a crystal, um, I the message that I wrote down was watch the body and the mind and to protect it not everything needs to be seen I don't care how cruel the world is or people can be protect yourself from that and there is this really strong message mark my words my loves with the Sun moving through the sign of Virgo and Neptune retrograde making its way through Pisces but backtracking I just really feel like it is okay for you to not be dormant but for you to be pulled back from things that others are doing that the world is saying that things that are popping off there half of that that you see is not based in reality it's based upon a projected illusion from someone's ego from someone's power like power struggle from their own intentions this is energy and I, you guys know i will never intentionally ever lead you astray i will always tell you my intuition i will always tell you no matter how difficult it is for me to process the information no matter what other people are saying on the internet how respected that astrologer is or how respected that intuitive person is i i don't listen to that i don't look for that and a lot of times what i'm saying can directly oppose them or directly be different from what they're saying i don't know i don't check in but i'm just saying that with this i don't trust this energy i don't trust this energy this week and I think this is why spirit has already started me started me off by talking about taking time to process your intuition and this is not we don't talk about this enough this is not a quick and easy process all the time sometimes when you need to listen to your intuition it's not a a quick download or a quick you the, the download of the information or the feeling might be fast but the processing of that information which downloaded within like a nanosecond takes time for those of you guys that are psychic and intuitive or sensitive or empaths you guys know this and give me the thumbs up or the hearts down in the comments this is why I love filming because I will receive a message but from spirit from my ancestors from the guides and then i start talking about it and what was a symbolic picture or image that they gave me i could literally talk about that for 45 minutes an hour from just a half of a second of an image that showed up in my mind's eye what does this tell you this tells you that the intuition is something that once you start getting into it it really starts to unfold and there's so many different layers to it and that's not something that can be rushed if you're rushing it i guarantee you you're missing something the other thing is that sometimes even if you are a high vibe being oh gosh and the moon card just keeps jumping out so there's this really strong message and this is not something that needs to be 
implanted in fear. It doesn't need to be a fearful thing. It's a matter of respect for yourself and of whatever else is going on out there. This could be your intimate world. This could be your friend circle. This could be things you're hearing on the news, things that you are feeling. Really just observe it. And by observe, I mean ask yourself, do I need to observe this? Do I need to see this? Do I need to hear this? Or is it better off if I'm protected from this, if I'm pulled away? Now, if it's something that I need to hear, see, process, then I will take my time and with processing it, with um, journaling it. But not everything needs to be in your brain. Not everything is something you need to hear. Not everything is are things that you need to say. Not everything is things that need to touch you or that need to be accessible to you and, let, and vice versa, okay? So there's this really strong message. Again, it's not laying low, it's not dormancy, but it's, it's also not being available to all the things. You have to f listen to your own discernment in and as i'm saying that i just heard the word control so you can't control what other people are doing or what's going on in the outside world but you can sense when it's time for you to move on when it's time for you to leave the party early you can sense when it's time for you not to show up or when it's time for you to stay home or when it's time for you to go out okay honor those feelings and while you're there in that space whatever it is that you are feeling called to be in, that's when you get to then control what you're listening to, what you're hearing, what is in your bubble at that moment in time. A good example that I see for that is, I just heard not everybody is your friend, but, and I don't know why that's coming through, but especially with Mars entering the sign of Libra, it's almost like this is gonna be happening on the 14th which is tomorrow, the time that it is that I'm filming this, Mars entering the sign of Libra sees or has been seeing from a distance all that you've got going on. They see all of what you are building, some of what you're building, because a lot of you guys don't post everything on the internet. I'm the same way. I'm notorious for keeping my private life private. Yeah, I'll show share snippets, but I won't show everything because this is my life. So, but the aspects that you have been showing, something about that, someone is watching this and they are going to emerge out of their own hermetic stage and want a part, a part of this. This is where you get, and, and really they want to harmonize, they want to align with you, okay? This is when you ask yourself, or you at your higher self, do they feel good for me? I don't need to understand why it is. I just know that the way that this is making me feel, not logical, not mental, not emotional, but spiritually, the way that it spiritually makes me feel isn't a vibe, or maybe it is. So with that, you don't need to, and I guide a lot of, a lot of people, not only in my friend circle who are highly intuitive people and the candle is popping off right now because spirit definitely is trying to speak right now. It says, listen to those feelings, and those intu that, that intuitive feeling, not the emotional feeling, the intuitive feeling, because there's a part of you that could really truly want to connect because the wish, the hope is that they are good. The wish, the hope is that this isn't poison. The wish and the hope is that you can trust. The wish and the hope is that this is going to be something that's awesome for you, that not everything is going to be for you. Not everything is your cup of tea. While I say that, I without a doubt feel that, and I wrote this down, at the time this week, I wrote down, I heard the word relief, I, I heard I hear relief, and that whatever it is that you're hearing is going to be confirmation. And that confirmation to you listening to your intuitive guide, and I just heard the word compass, which you are allowing yourself to plug into like a magnet, that's how a compass works, is that it plugs into the North Pole, the magnetic force that's pulling it. Your North Pole, let your eyes be on the divine. Let your eyes be on the higher self. Let the eyes be on the higher goal, right? That North, that North is pulling you in that direction. 
when you start saying no to the distractions, to the noise, to the people who want to assess, to want to assess, um, have access to you because they see what you're building, they see what you're doing, they see what you're about, while the rest of their world has crumbled or the rest of their relationships or their fallacy, their illusion is dissipated in front of their eyes, you have to say to yourself, you know, does that, is this good for me? I don't need to know any more than what I intuitively know inside. So it is going to act, come as a relief and confirmation when you listen and respect your intuitive voice, your intuitive, the, the intuitive uh, message. It's going to come as a confirmation and that will be a relief. Okay. The other thing that I wrote down is I heard the word self-control self-control and self-contained and I heard denying less opens you to more denying more opens you to less some of you guys hear the word less and you think to yourself especially with ten of pentacles jumping out here I want more for myself but what if I told you less actually is more what if less actually is more sometimes less means that you don't you have more quality than quantity you have more people around you that you can feel when you have a vulnerable moment their support takes you longer in your journey takes you longer in your healing process takes you further with fun and enjoyment just by having those three essential friendships or connections around you versus having 10 people and seven of them are bringing chaos and loudness and noise and obstruction and just conflict and drama okay do you see what it is that i'm saying so less actually ends up being more by you accepting less and that you understand that that's actually higher quality opens you up to so much more the thing that i want to talk to you guys about is the fact that the vertex point is sitting in the sign of leo Leo connects to our self-worth and our, I'm also hearing determination. It's determination meaning like what you determined worth it, worth it and value to you. I'm hearing you have to define that. that. That's a clear message that is I just heard. You have to define and determine what is worth it and valuable to you. And don't allow yourself to choose what is valuable and worth it to you based upon fear, based upon past restrictions, based upon toxic circles or tumultuous ass energy. That should have been said left long time ago. There's this really strong message here about controlling what you can control. Not in a way that is punishing or self-defeating or, um, you know, too, I, I'm almost getting like eating disorder vibes, trigger alert. I don't mean to trigger anybody with that, but not in the way that you are denying yourself and starving yourself, joy, pleasure, abundance, all of these things, nourishment, any of those things. I don't mean control in that extent because that's an imbalance of control. It's about making sure that what you are in taking in what you are processing and internalizing and what is in your space in your bubble is something that protects and honors the divine feminine that protects and honors your nourishment that protects and and honors the fertile ground that you've created that you worked so hard for and this is page of cups coming through it's either the page or the night i can't remember it doesn't matter to me right now, it doesn't matter. There is something that wants to come in and create and and give an offer, a proposal. For a lot of you guys, I do see, I don't know why, but engagement has been in the forefront of spirit's mind. Maybe not so much your mind, but it's the forefront of, yeah, there's a message coming through. It's been in the forefront, the third eye of spirit, the divine's mind. Something about the spiral and the empress's hair. You guys might not be able to see this, but trust me, it is there. Spirit is saying literally everything is going to come around full circle. It may not always make sense to you, but that's why we want you to come to us more often and communicate with us more often because we will talk to you and tell you that how good it is sometimes to wait, how good it is sometimes in order to not have all of your wishes answered or fulfilled in the way that you would have wanted them to. Everything literally will fall in and spin into alignment without you having to control it, without you having to facilitate it and to force and to move it along. 
Okay, so there's this really big space of trust. I'm also seeing with the mouse card here is popping out. The mouse card, the broken mirror, and also the rod. So these are things that um, I just I got an image of someone beating a carpet, um, beating the dirt out of the carpet. This is a quote that I, for a long time years ago, I was kind of stuck on. And the carpet gets beat by the rod, not because the carpet did anything wrong, but to remove the dust out of its, you know, what it was holding on to. You know, and the, sometimes with why this is coming through to me, and also we have the anchor here, which is highly symbolic, but sometimes what we go through and what spirit puts us through these round and round cycles and processes is not there to punish us, but to get rid of those things that bog us and hold us down. And now that I'm saying that, it brings me back full circle, round and round, to what it was that I said at the very beginning of this video, which is, again, you know, not everything, you know, discernment. Not everything is meant to hurt you and harm you and everything does come around full circle and there is a cycle that's being completed and to be very aware of what you are allowing yourself to listen to, hear, what you're repeating. There's things on the news, there's information that you might, it might cross your, cross your path, especially with this rider card here and the page or the knight of cups showing up. Not everything is meant for you to observe it and to be partake in it. It's in small things, that small seed, that small pebble of fear, that small pebble of doubt, that small mouse in the attic can take the entire house down if you don't take care of it, okay? So I'm definitely getting that. With the anchor card here, Spirit, I have my own messages about that, but and my own vision of that, my own understanding, but what are you trying to talk to us about here? Um, Spirit was just telling me, which called me really to look back at Uranus moving to the sign of Taurus. Again, this is about our values. And then the word fidelity is written on this card and that's really standing out to me. Yeah. Listen, what I'm hearing and what I'm feeling right now is, and this is, I don't know why this feels tough for me to say it. I think because it might be tough for someone to receive it and I want you guys to take it seriously and I want you to at least maybe just sit with it. If you feel called to sit with it, please do. What I'm getting and what I'm hearing is this is really connecting me to family and generational cycles. What was once valuable, no judgment, all love. What was once valuable to the generations that came before you whose blood is in your blood you're being uprooted and pulled out of that and placed into something else. This is for your own safety, for your own well-being. This has a lot to do with things that are established, like that need to be established, very higher font type of energy. Like for example, marriages, families, long-term investments, spending. You're meant to be pulled up and moved away from those waters. And there is a process of being pulled up from that and being removed from that that is really difficult for you to, for lack of a better word, to sail through because it feels like you're leaving home. You're leaving the homeland. You're leaving your family, you're leaving, that's what it feels like, but with energy and with love, it's nothing personal. It's for what, what's well, for your highest and greatest good. 
It's where you're meant to go. It's your true north. And you have to, with this anchor here, I'm seeing you guys have a vision in your mind that you have received. This makes a lot of sense. And I think you might actually have to watch this video twice in order for you to get it. And I'm not saying that because I'm trying to lift, lift my views. You guys know I'm not that type of person. I don't care about any of that. But think about true north. Think about keeping your eyes on that star. Think about where it is that you are going. Think about where it is that you can't continue to be or show up in or show up as think about all of those things i'm also hearing that it's not just one area of your life it's not just one area of your being it's like three different areas of your life that are being picked up and then the anchor is being dropped elsewhere it takes a lot to say goodbye it takes a lot to close that chapter it takes a lot to reread that to know the stories to hear the stories and then to try to rewrite one differently but spirit is saying it has to be done like i said in the very beginning of the video the vertex point is falling in the sign of leo leo represents our self-worth i'm hearing the word character you are not powerless there's something about you understanding that you are not powerless. You don't have, there's a, a sense of control that I've also mentioned. You can't control everything. You can't control what has happened, but you can control to some extent, to some degree, what you do now. And spirit says, stand in that firm truth and knowingness. And with that knowingness, with that acknowledgement and acknowledgement and with everything that we've told you, now, where are you going? Where's your north node pointing you? Where are you being magnetically pulled? Where's your intuition taking you? Where, because we are talking to you through your intuition. Are you listening to us? Are you hearing us? Do you respect the message? Or do you respect the fear, the doubt, the hesitation, the curse, the blockages, the challenges? More than what we've told you, than what we've given you. Your true north has your eyes glittering in the direction that which you're, that which you're meant to head. Don't allow your fear to define your fate. What are you doing with that this week? That's this week's message. I'm clearly being told that that's enough. <laughs> and I respect it. I love you guys so much. I want the best for you always. I will never intentionally ever lead you astray. I talk too much to spirit to make sure that my messages and counsel are from a higher place. And that those who are meant to receive it do. Take time with this one, please. I love you guys.